One of the most bizarre ways of getting around this island is in one of these. It's the Dodge Movag Armoured Car, and it belongs to the driver here, John Coughlin. It's me. How <laughs> And to recently drummer with Status Quo. That's right. What are you doing in one of these? Um, it's an old, very rare armoured car, um, which belongs, well, did belong to the Swiss Army. Uh, and I've just required this about a year ago. It's very rare. What was it used for in the Swiss Army? They used to put the uh, soldiers in here and shut the lid, and uh, off you'd go, and they'd fire guns at you. But it was never actually used in in a war? No, no, no. Well, why have you got it? Well, uh, one reason is that they're very rare. Uh, there's not many of these around, and I always like to own something that's uh, a rare vehicle, uh, mm. especially military. But apart from this one here, this armoured car, you've got two others trailing along behind us. What yeah. about this one next to us? That's the Volvo Splendid. command car, uh, ex-Swedish Army. That was from... Um, Rather, that was used for radio command in Sweden. Um, and the one next to it um, is a Bedford QLB, World War II, very rare Bofors tractor, used for towing guns. Yeah. Have you used it for towing any anything? Uh, yes, I have pulled a French tree down with it, even <laughs> to it removed, and uh, I took it out with a winch on the back, it was a five-ton winch, and we pulled it out in about two seconds flat. Better than an elephant. Too right. Yes. What, what is the attraction of... Oh, I mean, they're a bit big to have as toys, aren't they? Um, not really. If you've got plenty of land, like I have, you've plenty of space to park them. Um, it's better to have the real thing than having just a plastic thing on the wall. You know, the, the airfix kit or something like that. I'd rather have the real thing and drive it on the road. But, but you drive it on the road. Do you go shopping in it? Uh, no. Oh. I don't go shopping. No. You don't go shopping. <laughs> we take it to the pub. Do you really? Yes, we take it to the pub. Okay. You don't have a police escort or anything? Um, sometimes, yes, we do. The police have been very helpful um, with moving vehicles on the road. That's been fine. Do, you, do you think you're a bit of a nutcase? Definitely. <laughs> what are you doing with yourself apart from driving around this beautiful island in these mad, mad cars here? Yeah, we've actually been rehearsing with a new band. Um, that's with John Fiddler, Ray Majors and Terry Utley. Um, they've just gone back home uh, for a bit of a break. Um, we hope to be recording soon um, and after Christmas hopefully going on the road. Going on the road's a bit hairy though, isn't it? It is. And I, when I get back off the road, we get the boys together and we get the vehicles out and we have a, a bit of a joyride and it's, it's great fun. Can I have a bit of a joyride? Yep. Yeah, right. Put Chad on. We'll put my hat on. We'll zoom off. Dress for the part, as I always say. Oh, only way to see the island, isn't it? <laughs>